Hey guys, this is John Todd from Total Warhammer. We're going to do another Warhammer 2 quick battle. Alright, looks like we're fighting Nick Nag over here. Who do we want to play today? What's, uh. What haven't I done in a while? Let's do some vampires. Yes, yeah, the vampires. Let's see who he wants to be before we choose our lore. Oh, you know what? I never do. Who. Who's. What's, what's Hobbin Gorse saying? Let's, let's try the Gorse Mobile. Everybody loves the Gorse Mobile, right? So, that's good, that's good, that's good. Eh, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab Invocation on the Heck. And Raise Dead, of course. Awaken from the Grid. Spawns a unit of Grave Guards. Interesting. So, uh, we'll grab that. And we'll grab that as well. We're gonna want a necromancer for sure. Because these zombie summons are so very powerful. We don't need invocation of the heck on both of them, I don't think. Let's just grab those zombie summons. And the rest of our army will wait and see what he chooses for his faction. So come on, Nick Nick. Give me you know what? We'll just assume he's going Argo on. So, fighting the Wood Elves can be pretty tricky when you're bringing Gorse, that is. Uh, but honestly, what we're going to do here is just going to go a lot of Graveguard. Lots of Graveguard. Let's go ahead and put some Spearmen in here, some Skeleton Warriors, some Zombies. Looking pretty good to me. Hmm. These guys, wow, got terrible stats. Wow, <laughs> terrible, terrible stats. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some hounds, but also grab, what else do we want, what else do we want, do we want blood knights, if he has any wild riders, a single group of blood knights could be really effective, I think we'll, I think we'll grab one, we got two hounds, and let's also grab barracks reavers. Alright, so besides our lord, I feel like this is going to be a decent army against the foot elves. I mean, what are they supposed to do against Grave Guard? They have silver shields, they're armored, these are like anti-wood elf units. The wood elves don't have much armored units, so the Grave Guard should thrive here. They have absolute, they're like, they counter like all the elf units. The only ones that got armor, a the only ones that are dedicated armor piercing are as my spear, and they are meant for anti lords. So they do not fare very well against Grave Guard. So pretty great choice here. We got healing, we got leadership, we got zombies. I like it. I like it a lot. So anti lords here. These guys have shields, don't they? So he is going Argon. Good, good. For a minute there, I thought he might have gone AFK. Vigor. Soldiers' style is they run and fight, meaning they cannot engage in combat as effectively. The Vigor level of the unit is shown on its tool to blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Let us do it. On the south of the river, blood of elves shall flow. The blood of elves shall flow. We don't have blood, I assume. I mean, if a corpse is, it's kind of all. Kind of all dried up, isn't it? It was. I guess, I guess it might depend how how fresh we are. All right. British accent activated. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's intersperse. The father will be our front line. We'll have our spears on these sides, followed up by our cavalry. And our hounds, where shall we put our hounds? You can be over here, Mr. Goss. You can be over here, Mr. Necromancer. And you can be over here. And you can be over here. Or over here, rather. Good, I want them hidden. Good, good. Alright, nice, simple formation. Let's do it. So, he's got a 
troop count of 842, so we outnumber him almost double. Almost double. Uh, we're about one unit off of the double. So, uh, yeah, Wood Elves versus Vampire Counts. I think the Vampire Counts. I think this probably favors favors them. But the Wood Elves do have the tools, I think. To be, but Graveguard is just such a hard counter. So much of what they have. All right, let's see what we got here. So, yeah, Graveguard can beat everything over here. I like his choice of two dragons now. And I'm really glad we brought the Blood Knights now. All right, so we'll get you moving up here. We'll get you moving up here. You moving over here, you moving over here. You can come around here, and you can come over here. That's good, good. So we're just going to go ahead and engage across the line here. Yeah, you, you go over there, you can fight them. You can fight them. Yes. Yes. You're going up too fast. That, uh, that horse of yours will be on the for. Alright. Alright. So I think we're going to keep our hounds hidden in the forest back here. Until... His Azrai spirits decide to engage. So he's getting a, uh... Pray with Anath Ramo here and going for a Dragon Breath. Can't say I disagree with that choice. But we're just gonna we're just gonna heal him up with in case I'm in the hat. Is he going for the Dragon Breath? There he goes. He's gonna get our Spearman too. That's all right. Ooh, that was a good Dragon Breath. Let's go ahead and pop in case I'm in the heck on them, however, and pull them back. Get you guys in here. You can summon some zombies right here. Of course, you can get in here and summon some graveyard right there. You guys can come back here, and my spearmen can all come this way. So let's go ahead and get our hounds engaged. Yes, yes. All of you run to him. So <laughs> Gorse was definitely a, uh, a rough choice here. Let's go ahead and summon, we got the zombie summons, good. Let's get you up here, we got hounds in the back, we're getting gorsed out of here. It's going okay so far. Man, those blood knights are just destroying him. Let's pull the blood knights over here. Probably a pretty good blow up for him. Let's do an invocation to heck right here. And that's pretty good. Did we get our graveyard summoned? We did. Oh, devastating. Devastating. Our hounds have destroyed his archers. Yeah, I think it's over here. Let's get you over here and you over here. I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. So let's have you come summon... Oh, our army is full. So we can't summon any zombies, actually. That's fine with me. We are doing absolutely fantastic right now. You keep on chasing them off. You can come back into the rear of those guys. Of course, can sit right there. You guys, come down here. And Dragon Breath, I assume? Oh, he prayed with Anaphromatar, guys. Good move, good move. So those guys are going to be able to get away. So you guys can chase them off. And let's get another Graveguard Summon right behind the lines. And he's going to... He's gonna Dragon Breath Gorst here. Not much we can do. We can try to move. Let's have you guys go up and around. Let's have you guys get after these archers. You guys can, I don't know, get into... We'll just, we'll just keep you back for now. You can kill any routing units. So I think we are doing very well here. Doing very well indeed. So you guys go run into the rear of them, and wasn't a great hit for him. We have our blood knights right here, and there's not much we can do in a grinding fight. I think we're gonna win. I love 
He is just going after our lord, but we do have a necromancer here. Not too afraid. Let's get you guys to get a recharge on them. Do we have any zombie summons yet? No, we don't. No, we don't. So, yeah. I think we're slowly winning here. These graveyard to the damage. That's okay. And let's get all of you on him. Let's get you, keep on moving with your ghost. Keep on moving. And uh, we don't really want to use the heal on Gorst since he's pretty much already at his cap. Let's get you guys to chase them off. You guys can come over here. You guys can get on these. Them. Them. So pretty. I like that. Uh, we have Anth Mama here. He's using his tools wisely, he thinks. Can we get Gorst out of here? I don't think we can. I think that's going to be it for Gorst. Not surprising, not surprising. Let's go ahead and some of the zombies on. Actually, let's, uh, let's collapse right here. Get everything we have on him. Gorst has gone down, as to be expected. A brave soul, a brave soul. But uh, looks like that's going to be army riding. Let's get these. Let's get everybody on this dragon, and there we go. So, uh, I gotta say, I liked his use of Prey of Anathomopus. He had some really good Prey of Anathomopus. But did he bring magic? This is the question. Because. Okay, so no, he forgot his magic, which is a huge mistake. Uh, I like that he didn't bring the Eternal Guard shields, because you don't really need those silver shields, because we don't have any range units. But, uh,. A regrowth could have been really regrowth and earth bloods on the front line could have been really useful. Also, he needed something to defend his back line. So, uh, where I am, I would have had both my dragons together in the middle. I would have prayed Anath Rama, Helm and Gorse, and double dragon breath them, and then probably just waited for the front lines to engage. And once he was near the front line, I would have got both my dragons to jump on him, kill him, and then pull him through my lines. Hopefully, that would have worked pretty well. And, uh, did he have the resources to win this match without magic? Well, ye yes, no, it's hard to say. What did he have that could kill my graveyard? Basically, that, uh, would come down to his dragons. But he didn't have any heals for his dragons. And, uh, honestly, and he did not protect his, his uh, glaive guard with Starfire Chest very well. So, despite that good game, Nick Knack, that's going to be all for this one, guys. This is John Ton for Total Hammer, signing out.